It's the 2K Sports pregame show. Hello, everybody. I'm Ernie Johnson, welcoming you to the NBA on 2K Sports. Excited. I mean, thrilled to be here with Kenny the Jet Smith and Shaquille O'Neal. I'm so lucky. Tonight, it'll be the Portland Trailblazers up against the Indiana Pacers. Checking out the Pacers, they're sixth in the Eastern Conference and still trying to make that next step forward, trying to finish in better shape than they did last season. And while we have a moment here, another discussion topic. Shaq, you are one of the most physical players the league has ever seen. Uh, who would you say right now are the league's most physical players? Sorry to correct you, Ernie. Not one of the most, the most. But anyway, Ernie, to you're not, your you're question. You're not sorry to correct me. Uh, you take great pleasure in so, it. And one of the most humblest. Elbow sandwich, that's right. So let me go, Ernie. Let's see. Point guards, how about Russell Westbrook? Mm -hmm. Shooting guards, I'm going to go with uh, maybe D. Wade or Lance Stevenson. Okay. And uh, at the small four, that's I, I got to go with the greatest of the game, LeBron. King James. Well, I, since he took the smaller guys, which is unique, I'm going to take the power forwards. Blake Griffin. And you know what? He's one of the league's most physical players? Yeah, Blake Griffin. Yeah, he's physical. Uh, he just gets thrown around a lot sometimes. But well, he's not physical, though. <laughs> Crazy. No, but he throws it around, too, oh, man. Oh, does not. He throws it around. Does not. Yes, he does. He and Zach Randolph. D-U-Z-N-O-T. Yeah, I like does Zach Randolph. Yes, he does. And Dwight Howard is physical. And my man, Nicolo. Pekovic. Yes, is one of the toughest bigs I've seen around. And what's Dwight Howard's name? You can say it. S Dwight Howard. No, say it. Super Dwight Howard. Say it with some energy. One Come time. On, give Howard. us a super. Superman is in the building. There he oh, goes. There now. he goes. <laughs> now you ticked off the beat. Uh, that's it for now. Talk to you later. in Portland as the Trailblazers are about to go into this interconference contest. Welcome everyone. Thanks for tuning in to 2K Sports as we get set to bring you some terrific NBA action. This is Kevin Harlan with Clark Kellogg and Greg Anthony. You look at Indiana. They know this is the type of game they need to win if they're going to take the next step facing a closely ranked team. No clear underdogs based on the tail of the tape. And right now for the Pacers, they were a team that no one knew quite what to make of entering the season. But as the year's gone on, it's become clear they're legit contenders. Abundantly clear. I mean, they can compete with any team in the league, and I think they still have some upside and room for improvement. Let's check out Indiana's starting lineup. They've got Ian Mahina, George Hill out there with Ellis. Then it's Paul George, and it's Turner in at the four slot. George, no good. Last outing for Indiana. They won that game against the Thunder in Oklahoma City. And how about the accuracy that was on display from three-point range in that game? They were lethal. Yeah, splashing those threes as they did really allowed them to continuously deflate that crowd and keep them at bay. Boy, that was a nice road win for them, no doubt. Here's Ellis. Got a hand on it. And that'll be Indiana as it goes out of bounds. Pacers retain possession. And just about a minute into the first quarter. That's the third straight miss to start this game, and they're still looking for their first basket. Monte Ellis has always had a knack for the big shot. When things are on the line, he is a guy that is not afraid to step up. And Kevin, last season, he had a number of big second halves and fourth quarters for the Mavs. Really took over that primary scoring role from Dirk Nowitzki. Stole a lot of games for them last season. Just over a minute and a half played here in this one. Dishes it to Aminu. Back to Lillard. 11 feet away, and he gets the bucket. And a really good way to start the game. He's a guy who, if he gets it going early, he's going to give you problems. To the inside, and it's Mahimi finishing it off. And, and that's the kind of lead pass we've come to expect from him. Here's Lillard. 
Last game, an incredible scoring display for him. He feeds it to Harkless to the right side. Here's Aminu, and two free throws coming up as he misses that one. Drawing the whistle and a lot of contact there. Yeah, it's going to be on Miles' turf. You know, guys, Al Farouk Aminu, so highly regarded coming out of college, still really finding his way around the NBA. But this last season, with Dallas, he may have found his niche in this league. Uh, that's a great point, Kevin. A, a guy who can give you a lot of things, rebounding, defense, hustle points, but he's already played on a number of teams in his young career because he's still trying to, as you put it, find that niche. Maybe he's finally developed who he is. Hill kicks to Ellis. The shake. The shot is off. And it's Portland the other way. They come in fresh off a win against the Warriors. I think everyone who saw that game would just have to agree it was about what they could do defensively in terms of winning. And I thought the activity was tremendous all over the court defensively. And that kind of hustle is going to pay off for you. And it also is going to keep your coach happy. Yeah, and on the topic of Aminu, he's a bit of a tweener. Doesn't have quite the quickness and ball handling skills the top small forwards have. Doesn't have the bulk or grit to match up against the better power forwards. He's a hard fit for what you want to have done at that position. And, Kevin, who says a point guard should look to pass first? I mean, not when you can finish like this fella. Well, Clark, he wasn't going to give that opportunity up to a teammate. Well, you know, Kevin, that's one he'll always take himself, and he should. I mean, you can't pass up that kind of opportunity or fun. And, guys, getting back to Amino, he still has the tools to be a really good player, but like so many young guys, he has to focus. He has to bring the intensity 100% every game. And I could see him being one of those late bloomers, if you will. Defender there in the neighborhood, but not quite close enough. Good shot. Hill passes to Ellis. Indiana moving it around. And George, here we go. It's tipped. Lillard with it. He's got six. Kicks it to Plumlee. McCollum dishes to Lillard. Baseline jumper. And he sinks that one. Hitting the back of the rim on the way in. Lillard's got eight points. They've been hot here early. Dropping them in left and right. Rolling, rolling, rolling. We'll see how long they can keep it going. Ellis outside. They set the pick. They need this. And that one's good. You know, the defense has got to do a much better job of fighting over those screens. And Greg, especially when the ball is in his hands. I mean, come on now. You know he doesn't miss too many open looks like that. So timeout call here on the first for Portland. It's a victory here for the home team last time these guys met. And the previous meeting was a win for them and a huge day for the bench. The reserves really stepped it up with their scoring. Greg, we know how important it is when you can go to your reserves without much drop-off in production. It gives you a big advantage. I know they'd love to see that again tonight. Took the opportunity when he saw it. Henderson's got himself going with the triple, his first basket of the game. Pacers trail by eight. And Young kicks to George. Allen with the screen for George. Nice teamwork to set up the pick play and make the space for the J. Effective screen set there for the jump shot. That was the key to the play. Grab the pass to Leonard. No luck. Excellent D there from Hill. Indiana's gone one or two from long range in the first quarter. Pass to Young. On the wing, George. No good. Now Portland takes it the other way. No doubt it's been a bit of a struggle for him here in this quarter in terms of score. Davis dishes to Leonard. And so he draws the foul on the shot, a trip to the line to shoot two. Yeah, easy call. Yeah, you can hear the smack all the way over here where we are. It's his first trip to the line. That free throw good from Leonard. Glenn Robinson, the third, is checked in for George. Leonard hits them both. Well done again. He doesn't have the same problems at the line that plagues some of the NBA's other big men. Two seconds separating the shot clock and game clock. 
Young outside. Pass to Miles. Hill kicks to Robinson. Six on the shot clock. And it's Miles missing. You, you almost have to assume he's going to knock those down when he is that old. Domination in the first quarter. It's been pretty lopsided. Trailblazers lead by 11. And we'll be back shortly for the start of the second quarter. Talk to Monte Ellis. He says he feeds off his doubters. He loves to hear someone say what he can't do. I think I had that all my life. I always had to prove somebody wrong, and you know, still to this day. Um, that's just the competitive that I believe my oldest brother built into me when I was little. Monte Ellis is still trying to prove people wrong now in Dallas after their quick exit from the playoffs a season ago. Clark, it's been a decade in the league now for this very talented guard. And you know, that kind of relentless determination is really something Monte is known for and one of the reasons he has been around for 10 years in the NBA as a consistently good player and lethal scorer. Welcome back, everyone. A lopsided first quarter in the books already as we start the second quarter. And guys, the Trailblazers enjoying a nice lead here. This has been a shooting drill thus far. Warm up jumpers because there hasn't been much resistance. In a moment now to reset the lineups, courtesy of Gatorade, all fueled up for the second quarter of basketball. On the floor for Portland, Allen Crabb out there with Davis, then it's Henderson, then it's Plumley, and it's Lillard in at the one spot. Ellis goes in, and Davis sends it back. Hill has the open look. Good, and the assist goes to Ellis. Hill's got five points in the quarter. And he found the perfect spot behind the arc there. Big gap in the deep. One thing about Ed Davis, guys, he has the physical tools to succeed. The agility of a gazelle and the wingspan of a condor or pterodactyl. Pacers trail by 10. Hill kicks to Allen. Plumley with the rebound. Plumley's got three rebounds now in this one. Here's Lillard. Hill pulls it in. That is some tough defense there against one of the better finishers in our game. Ellis, the pass to Hill. Indiana moving the ball around. There's a screen. Henderson against Ellis. Fires from deep. He gets through for a second basket. He's now two for six. He can be a forgotten man in their offense sometimes, but the D still has to keep an eye on him. Lillard dishes the plumlet. Hill pulls it in. Hill's got his third rebound tonight. Here's Ellis. He scores the basket. That's field goal number three for him. Easy to see who's going to win that race. Yeah, early offense is often easy offense. Excellent work that time. Here's Henderson. A three ball, and that one's good. Henderson's got 11 points. It's first triple of the second quarter, third of the game. So the Pacers call timeout their first of the game. Tell you what, it looks as though the light has officially gone on for Ed Davis. I mean, he drifted around a bit over his first five seasons, but he made real strides last year. Al Farouk Aminu, he's checked in for Gerald Henderson. Indiana also making some changes. Mahimi's checked in for Hill. Turner comes in for Allen, and it's George in for Robinson. Ellis goes in. And lots of contact there. Missing the shot. He'll shoot two. Going back to Ed Davis, sees rebounds, field goal percentage were way up last year. He's finally developed the strength to anchor inside and Greg the skill set to convert scoring opportunities as well. And, and Kevin, you can see his confidence growing. He just needs to keep at it 
to reach his full potential. Maurice Harkless is checked in for the Trailblazers. Lillard with it, picked up by Ellis. And Lillard kicks to Crab. The Trailblazers need to get off a shot. The shot by Harkless, no good. Pacers trail by six. Here's Ellis. And good. Got the English that time as he falls. Ellis has got nine points now in the quarter. Boy, after struggling in the first quarter, he's come alive here in the second. There's the dish to Aminu. There's the pass to Harkless. Here's Cram. He's guarded by Ellis. And the rejection by Mahimi. The bound, Trailblazers ball as Portland keeps possession. So for the Trailblazers, Myers Leonard, he's checked in for Plumlee. And McCollum subbed in for Ellen Cram. The Pacers also changing it up. C.J. Miles, he's checked in for Ellis. Young is subbed in for Hill. The Pacers have gone five of eight from the floor here in the second quarter, over 60% shooting. And Miles kicks to Turner and fouled hard that time. He'll get to the line and shoot two. That's on Al Farouk Aminu. And guys, let's get your tick on the scoring breakdown for the Trailblazers. Guys, they are dialed in from beyond right now. They didn't waste any time getting into a groove in this game. They also came out of the locker room with their running shoes on. I mean, their transition game has been full throttle. You know, even though they're behind, I love the job they've been doing getting to the free throw line. We always like it when you're aggressive and not settled. Lillard left side, down low, stolen by George. It's three on three on the fast break. Here's Miles, and the Pacers can't get it to go. There's the foul, it's on Mahini. That's his first foul. Trailblazers leading by four. Foul call that time on the way up. That'll give him two chances at the free throw line here. Damian Lillard is a two-time All-Star. He just keeps getting better and better. And I love his demeanor on the floor. He, he seems a lot older than he really is. Yeah, he's got an old head, and he's got a very yeah. even keel disposition about him, which serves him well. He almost missed the All-Star game last season and was an injury replacement. And for Lillard, that motivation. And remember, he got cut from Team USA a couple summers ago in favor of Derrick Rose and Kyrie Irving. And Lillard calls it wood on the fire. Those things keep him focused and also hungry. The shot's there for him, and he's got to take it. I don't care if he doesn't convert. That's a shot he has to continue to take. You always want a player to have his head up and to be surveying the court, but not if that's going to be the result. Knocked loose. It's stolen by Aminu. Young with the steal. And now here's George, the fast break opportunity. There's 53 seconds left here in the second. He used that pick just right. And remember Lillard, the former rookie of the year. He, he's had his snubs, but also he's gotten some recognition. Even playing in the Pacific Northwest, he's got his own signature shoe now, and his star definitely on the rise. McCollum passes it to Leonard. It's stolen by Mahimi. And not sure if they're aware of the two-for-one opportunity. Well, they ought to be. I mean, that's basic basketball time management. You've got to be aware of your clock and your situation. You know, Paul George played the first few years of his career in the NBA with 24 on his back. And as you can see, he now goes with 13 after making the switch prior to last year. The Trailblazers making a switch here. Henderson's checked in. And that's another area where he is just a superb player. Excellent at the free throw line. Just one second between the shot clock and game clock. And Miles kicks to George. Not enough on that one as it misses. And he rushed that one, no doubt about it. The D out of position, you could see the frustration on his face. Harkless knocks down the three ball. Harkless has got himself going with the triple, his first basket of the game. Now, here's George. And it would have counted had it fallen, but it's offline. 
And a pretty tightly contested game here as we end the first half. Portland out in front, up by five. We'll see you after halftime for the beginning of the third quarter. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Ernie Johnson here again with Kenny Smith and Shaquille O'Neal. We welcome you back to the 2K Sports Halftime Show. After two quarters, it's Portland out in front. They lead by five. Kenny, what's your take? Well, they were lighting it up from three, and that was the difference in the first half. They did a good job of running off screen, spotting up, and getting rid of the ball quickly. And their shot selection, solid. How about you, Shaq? What did you think about Indiana? I really like how they limited turnovers. You know, they didn't play it too safe. They made some really nice passes. When you can play like this and cut back turnovers, it can add up to over 10, 8, 12, 15, 16. Easy points, Ernie. I don't know how many points. A lot of easy points. They'll be in good shape if they can keep making the same smart plays. And that'll wrap up our halftime show. The third quarter set to go moments from now. We will be right back here after the game. Jumping out ahead through the first two quarters. Ellis having a terrific game. He has 12 points, and he's knocked down a pair of three-pointers in this game, too. And maybe it's time for them to set a few more screens for him up top and let him add to that total. On the court for Indiana. Turner is up there with Mahini. Then it's George Hill. Then there's Ellis. And it's George in at the small forward spot. Lillard with it, picked up by Ellis. Lillard dishes to Harkless, and he makes no mistake on the slam dunk. Boy, he threw out some punishment with that two-hand throwdown. And Clark, now's the time to do it. Continue to attack that rim. Now here's Ellis. He's guarded by McCollum. Here's George, and they immediately answer back with the dunk at the other end. Wow, look at how quick he flashes to the rim there for the finish. And Lillard kicks to Plumley. Back to Lillard. Trailblazers moving the ball around. Here's Harkless. Rebound by Mahini. And if the shot's not there, you've got to understand that move the basketball. Yeah, exactly. And I'm not quite sure what his mindset or what he was thinking there. I mean, that was just a terrible shot. He had a nice open look right there. That's 10 points for Paul George. You know, his ability is matched only by his energy, guys. I mean, he's usually in the middle of everything for his team. Lillard attacking, makes it off the glass. I mean, he was great in his last game, Clark, and clearly he has not lost that love and feel. And guys, what I like about Damian Lillard, very decisive with the ball in his hand. Always in attack mode, he keeps it hopping and he has a killer instinct in the clutch. And Davis has checked in for the Trailblazers. Crab comes in for Maurice Harkless. And the Pacers also making a change. Hill's checked in. There's the pick. Ellis, the pass to Turner. In the corner, George with it. Gets the three-pointer to fall. George has got 13 points. And for Lillard, he keeps the ball moving, as Greg is talking about. Clark, he keeps his teammates involved. Very proficient in the pick and roll, understands the nuances of looking at weak side defenders and getting to the free throw lane for the roll man. He knows all the tricks to make that pick and roll really successful. Passes to McCollum, feeds to Plumlee. He dishes it to Cram. Fires from deep, and again, it's the Trailblazers from deep. That's three of four here to start the half. Pacers trail by five. And here is Hill. He's got five. The shot by George, wide open. And it's George again missing. Portland's gone seven of 11 from deep tonight, using the three-pointer to their advantage. Hill kicks to George. Here's Ellis. It's deflected. Alert against Hill. Low block shot. And it's sent back by George. Fast break. Here comes Indiana. Ellis dishes to Hill. There's a screen. 
Off the pick. That doesn't go either for Ellis. Just not much success when it comes to shooting. Lillard attacking. The feed to McCollum. To the middle. And it's slammed in by Plumley. And he's been the catalyst all game long. Love how he's distributing the basketball. No doubt about it, Greg. I mean, when the offense runs through him, it's really smooth. Alert against Hill. Here's Ellis. And it's Portland with the rebound. There was just enough defensive pressure to get him off balance and cause that shot to go awry. Lillard, the pass to Davis. Back to Lillard, to the inside. It's stolen by Hill. From the left block, it'll go. The Portland lead is cut to just five points on the basket from Hill. Well, they won't be down for long if they can get some more early offense just like that. And Clark, the best way to get that early offense is with steals that allows you to get out of transition. So for the Trailblazers, Leonard comes in for Mason Plumley. And it's Henderson for Damian Lillard. Indiana also making some changes. Allen's checked in for Turner. Robinson comes in for George. Young is subbed in for George Hill. And there's a pattern starting to take shape here. They're working it inside and getting good shots from close range. Well, I agree with you. Four of their last five baskets have been exactly of that variety. And Young kicks to Robinson. Screened by Young. And it's Ellis penetrating. And Leonard with the block. He's going to play his way right onto the bench and out of the game if he continues to shoot it like he has so far in this quarter. That one was solid. There's a big difference in the field goal percentages between these two teams here in the second half. And, Greg, that difference has come about because we've got one team moving crisply, getting good shots, and the other is just kind of stagnant. And the rebound and the follow show you what he is all about. Gritty and determined with the soft touch to match. Henderson against Young. The kick out to Hill. All sorts of time. And again, it's Indiana converting. Trailblazers leading by five. To the paint. It's deflected. Stolen by Robinson. Young outside, picked away. Inside, it's stolen by Allen. Now eight seconds separating the two clocks. Over in the corner, Ellis. Rebound by the Trailblazers. Davis has got three rebounds now in this one. McCollum dishes to Davis. And he converts the layup. And the Trailblazers lead by seven. Pretty much all of their buckets coming from inside the paint now. That's right. Five of their last six makes were on the interior. They've established their inside presence. Seven seconds left in the third quarter. And here's McCullum for three. And that does it for the third quarter. Both teams clicking offensively as we approach the fourth quarter. Trailblazers lead by five. From Portland, we're back in a moment. Thanks for joining us again as we get set for the fourth quarter. A terrific game so far. Trailblazers leading by five. They've got Al Farouk Aminu. Henderson out there with Damian Lillard. Then there's Myers Leonard. And it's Plumley in at the five. That's the group on the floor for Portland. Lillard the pass to Aminu. Just five to shoot. The Trailblazers rebound. He kicks it to Henderson. Good ball movement here by the Trailblazers. Leonard dishes to Henderson. Lillard against Hill. Another shot. And there's the whistle. Fouled hard on the shot. He'll go to the line. 
Lillard having a good one. He has 12 points and some assists, too. How about three of them? His success in the assist department is carried over to the free throw line. Boy, has he been steady at the helm today. And what do you guys think so far about the offensive approach for Portland? Fantastic passing. We saw it in the first half, and it's carried over here in the second. Well, it's been a super performance from beyond the arc, too. I mean, they've been reining in those threes. Maurice Harkless has checked in for Myers Leonard. Now Hill. Here's George. Portland grabs the miss. Harkless has got four rebounds now tonight. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Pacers will take it. C.J. Miles, he's checked in for the Pacers. And we've played through about a minute here in the fourth. Pacers trail by seven. Outside Hill. And George, here we go. And he gets it to go. George has got nine points here in the second half. Big time bucket there. And you can expect to see him stay very involved the rest of the way. This is to Aminu. Over to the wing. Rumbley with the screen. Harkless kicks to Lillard. And we've made our way through just over a minute and a half in this fourth quarter. And George, here we go. And Gerald Henderson is going to pick up that foul. That is his first foul of the game. Alert against Hill. Here's George. And fouled hard that time. He'll get to the line and shoot two. You know, if you're looking to build a small forward and there wasn't a LeBron James template, you might go with PG, Paul George. Height, length, athleticism, that combination off the charts with him. And he's got a nice, unflappable demeanor, too. Yeah, talking about Paul George, a big part of his dominance, his attitude. He doesn't yell or, or pump his fist. He's really the quiet assassin. Yeah, once he maxes out in the weight room, which he will, now that he's in his mid-20s, I think he's going to be an Adonis. I mean, exactly the kind of physique you're looking for in a prototype at the small forward. Lillard, the pass to Aminu. And Lillard kicks to Harkins. He feeds it to Aminu. Down to five on the shot clock. And a fast break now for the Pacers. Hill leading the charge. A little over two and a half minutes have passed here in the fourth quarter. There's the screen. Turner dishes to Hill. The three from George. There's the foul. It's on Mahini. That'll be his second foul of the game. How about the passing? They are moving the ball without any thought, without any individual agenda. Yeah, and it's really fun to see that kind of unselfishness. Really hard not to appreciate all the assists they've racked up. McCollum's checked in for the Trailblazers. And a change for the Pacers. Ante Ellis checked in for C.J. Miles. And the shot is good. That's now eight points here for Harkless. Pacers trail by three. Ellis, the pass to Mahimi. Screened by Ellis. Here's Turner. The shot is off. And it's Portland the other way. They've led by as many as 11 points. And really, they've rebounded well all game long. Yep, and they've needed every one of those boards. This game's still close. Harkless kicks to Aminu. Pass to McCollum. Right wing. Plumboy dishes to McCollum. He trains it as the shot clock ticks down. Now it's a five-point trailblazer lead. You know, it's really going to be all about hard work from this point on. And they worked hard to create that high-quality shot right there. No question. That's their goal down the stretch here. I think finding those close-range rhythm shots. Almost no chance of that shot going in. Yeah, there were a lot of other places he could have gone with the basketball instead of forcing that shot up. And now here's George. The fast-break opportunity. Deflects the pass. 141 left here in the fourth quarter. Miller against.
against him. Heartless the pass to Aminu, to the middle. Here's Hill. Kicks to George. Pass to Ellis. At the elbow, it's Turner. Good, and the assist goes to Ellis. Ellis has got five assists in the game. I, I love that plan. Set up the opportunity for the mismatch. Yeah, knowing they have to get a bucket here, they can go in and hide it down where they can find it. And that's a no-brainer to me. A moment to check in with Doris Burke. Doris? Hi, Kevin. I was able to hear the advice Terry Stotts gave to his team during that last break. He told them the game is right there for the taking, fellas, but we've got to be first. First to lose balls, first to the rim. We have to give our all right here. Kevin, now's the time. Loose D here. Critical stretch. I mean, you better off sending them to the free throw lines than to have them get that good a look. And that one's good. 16 points for Lillard. I, I love his shot selection today. He set the bar for the rest of the team. And the Pacers call time here. They're down by three. There's a minute left in the fourth quarter. There's a minute left in the game. Mahimi kicks to Hill. Here's Ellis. Good! And that shot brings them to within just one. Boy, Monte Ellis, what an offensive force he can be. The Trailblazers have gone three of six in the field so far in the fourth quarter. To the right side. McCollum dishes to Davis. McCollum passes to Lillard. Feeds it to Plumley. Good ball movement here by the Trailblazers. Shot clock at three. And it's going to be a 24-second shot clock violation. They turn it over. And, and you can tolerate gaps like that sometimes. But in a close game, man, I tell you what, that really hurts. Time called here. Indiana decides to talk it over. They're trailing by one. 29 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Twenty-six seconds left to play in the final quarter. Guys, we have seen them with a lot of good ball movement. Well, you like the smooth operating they're showing you here. I mean, things are clicking, and more importantly, it makes them tough to defend. Clark, what you know about Sade? Smooth operator. But I, I agree with you. I think we're all seeing that right now. Yes, indeed. <laughs> and so they foul intentionally. And you know what? Smart foul. You got to try and extend the game. Sure. It's not over. The clock is as much a problem for them as the score is right now, so they've got to try to manage it. So it gets them both, and it's a three point game. Absolutely massive free throws. That'll force them into a three point attempt. And the Pacers call time here. They're behind by three. 17 seconds left in the fourth quarter. What's your take, guys? And there's still time left, so they don't necessarily have to go for the three. A quick, easy bucket inside will do. Well, I think the clock's a little short here for that. I mean, I'm not quite sold on the quick two. I think they've got to look for a quality three to try to tie this thing up based on where the clock is right now. And here's Ellis for three. Oh, he had a chance there to send it to overtime, but they come up empty-handed. And so the big win by Portland in a tight game. What a show they put out here at home tonight. Tremendous work all the way down to the wire. We were just wondering what would happen next. Major drama, and we saw good. And now let's catch up with Doris Burke, who's standing by on the sideline. Doris? Well, Gerald, we often hear coaches talking about chemistry and focus. What's the key right now mentally for this team and how you guys approach each game? You know, it's, it's just something, you know, you just got to stick with it. You know, we come here every day ready to work and compete uh, every night. So, you know, it's good that, you know, we're playing well and we want to keep it going. Congratulations, Gerald. Thank you so much, guys. Doris, thank you as always. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. For Greg Anthony, Clark Kellogg, and Doris Burke, 
This is Kevin Harlan. Thanks for watching the NBA presented by 2K Sports. And coming up next, the postgame show with Ernie Johnson, Shaq, and Kenny the Jet. The 2K Sports postgame show. Kevin, thank you, and now we get a chance to check out our Jordan player of the game. He stepped up his game tonight, getting it done all game long and making the plays whenever they needed him to. Just a sensational performance on a lot of levels, Ernie. Too many levels to talk about. Man, in some game, he's in the background. He doesn't get the chance to be the star of the show, but not tonight. He's the star tonight. Put him on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. He had a very nice night from the field tonight, shooting over 50%. That smooth, soft touch was working for him tonight. No matter how tight the D played him, he was still shooting him right in their face. And that'll do it for this edition of the NBA on 2K Sports. Hope you enjoyed the show. From myself, Kenny Smith, Shaquille O'Neal, Kevin Harlan, and the entire 2K Sports crew, have a wonderful evening.